every Friday. Check us out at 2 p.m. Happy to be here with this Friday. What's up, guys? John here with Big Drew. Big Drew here with John. It's Friday. It's Titan Lifestyle. As always, when we're on an undisclosed location. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But it's nice and it's warm <laughs> and it has water. Pretty much, <laughs> pretty much wherever we're at, it's nice, warm, and there's water included. So, What's up, guys? Thank you guys for all joining us. We've got a heck of a show for you guys. Yeah. Uh, we're down here. We're obviously still in Florida. we got two events, big events going on tomorrow. Um, so get ready. You know, you guys can see attend the social media to see all the good stuff that we got going on. So we appreciate it. So we got everything covered from Bloodwork Special today. We'll talk about that, how important it is for you guys. You know, a couple main topics going on that are just crazy. Yeah. Uh, you know, anything from shrooms getting legalized, from sisters stabbing people, uh, yeah. asymptomatic case of coronavirus, and a lot, a lot more. So with no further ado, I think me and Drew are going to get a start because we're going to go do some stuff after this show. We're going to yeah. get some yeah. stuff done. So Fun in the sun. Absolutely, Fun absolutely. The so let's get into the first one. So this week, usually we have a therapy of the week, but we want to make it special for everybody. So we did a blood work special, and these specials are usually really, really popular for males and females, whether you're a current patient or you're a new patient that wants to come in um, or you just want to get results for blood work. We can help you guys nationwide. So you know, with this blood work, we look at a lot of different things that a normal general practitioner or your general care doctor is probably not going to look at. Mm. Um, most of the time when you go to your general practitioner or your everyday doctor, they're going to look at a couple different things from blood cell counts to comprehensive metabolic panel, which is like liver and kidneys, maybe cholesterol. Um, if you're having problems, maybe a thyroid. So for us, we go a lot deeper as far as the blood work for you guys. We look at all the essentials from your liver and your kidneys, guys, your prostate, cholesterol, uh, full thyroid panel with T3, T4, TSH, but we really want to look at free and total testosterone levels, progesterone levels, estradiol levels, growth hormone levels, and B12 levels. It's funny because I got an, uh, an email today where somebody said, well, you know, I could go to my general practitioner and get all these tests ran. Well, they tried to go to their general practitioner and they tried to give them the list of the tests that they needed mm. and they couldn't get them. Yeah. Usually places just do the bare minimum. Yeah. Like whatever, whatever yeah. the requirement is. Yeah. You know, so full panel is yeah. not really a full panel. Right. You know, yeah. and, uh, you know, the, to make the difference is, is there are some people in our industry that say full panel, but they are nowhere in comparison to end up testing that we do. Uh, and the, the point is, is that you want to look at some of these different things, especially as you're aging, because mm. we know that hormones are in decline as we age. You know, some different things can pop up that you might want to look at. Even prostate for guys. For females, you guys got all kinds of hormones. You have the general ones like testosterone, progesterone, estradiol, but we look at total estrogens and we look at a couple different other ones like DHEA and such, you know, just to make sure that you guys are covering all the bases. So with this blood work, we gave you guys a super special. So for guys, instead of the 200 bucks, it's 130 for our full panel, right? For females, instead of 300, we brought it down to 200 bucks for a full panel. And this way, Everybody can get checked. Like I said, they can see if something's going on. Maybe nothing is. Maybe there is something that you didn't know about and you can optimize. If you're feeling tired, right, lethargic, no motivation to do some of the things that you like to, losing lean body mass, right? You're like, I don't know what's going on. Not be able to lose weight. You know, your metabolism could be slowing down. You're asking yourself why I'm eating a good nutritional diet like I used to, yeah, you, exercising. You, yeah, you talk about a nutritional diet. A lot of times, you know, I'm big on, you know, you get, get stuff from food, get stuff from food. Absolutely. But you can't get everything from food. So True even that. if you're eating optimally, you're eating perfectly, sometimes yep. your body may need something else. Absolutely. Whether it's a hormone imbalance like he's talking about yep. or one of our therapies that has other stuff that you can't get from food. This is so true. it's important to eat clean, but it's also good to have your levels checked a lot of times people say i eat healthy i do you know i eat healthy i don't do any drugs i don't drink yep. i don't need to get my levels checked you yep. still need to get your levels checked even if you're eating healthy even if you look healthy and everything looks great mm -hmm. just because you're not a so quote unquote partier or drinker right or you know you use anabolics or any type of recreational drugs doesn't mean that your levels might be out of whack and it's Absolutely. nothing it may not be your fault it may be hereditary sure. it doesn't mean you know something you know is, oh, yeah. is wrong with you 
just means it can be corrected outside of just a good diet. Yeah. So yeah, like Drew said, there's a lot of different things can affect these different things as hormone levels. That could be genetics, like he said, you know, and that's what we're born with. So we ain't got no choice after that, unless you're going to do some some CRISPRs or some gene editing, you know, with those tools that are coming out. They are out there. Um, you know, and you're going to look at your nutritional plan. You know, the nutritional plan is good. You know, sometimes we're going to see with these different hormones and these hormones can be affected. Like we're talking about by environment, uh, chemicals you put on your body and you're asking yourself, well, what chemicals? I don't put any like gasoline or anything on myself or anything, yeah. something like that, but deodorants. I mean, if you look at some yeah. of the ingredients in there, deodorants can affect some different things. Lotions can affect some different things. Some of these body sprays that females put on there, you guys really got to look at what the ingredients are and then. Mm. You know, you're, you're intaking these ingredients. You're absorbing these ingredients as you put them on your skin. Your skin is absorbing them, and they'll right. eventually go into the bloodstream of the body. So that could be affecting different things like that. Toxins in the environment, breathing in the environment, the toxins. Yeah, another thing, too, with what he said about the body sprays and deodorant sprays, usually when people are putting those on the most is when they're about to sweat. So the pores are going to be open. So oh, your yeah. pores wide open, and then you're spraying the air. The pores is just sucking in all yes. that those toxins and yes. stuff. So. That's very important to get a good, you know, a good spray. I know if, especially if I shave or something like that, yeah. and use a bad spray, you know, you break yeah. out and get the. Oh yeah. But yeah, you want to make sure you. Pores <laughs> get definitely clogged, topical garbage. stuff can definitely mess you up. Absolutely, you absolutely. Up. So it's important to do this blood work, and you know, and like I said, general doctors don't really want to run this stuff, mm. and insurance companies don't want to. They don't want to pay for these tests. So the big thing about it is, is they restrict the doctors and kind of what they can do or kind of what they can search for, or doctors really don't have really in-depth knowledge or education on some of these different things. So they don't want to open up Pandora's box either. Yeah. So the big thing is, is, is coming to somebody that really does know what they're talking about, has knowledge, uh, has background in this, and we've been doing it for nine years. So obviously we've got some success with patients yeah. and stuff like that, or we would not be at the level we are today. I wouldn't want, I wouldn't want to go into a situation trying to get healthy, trying to, you know, make sure my health is good and have something or somebody shortcut me yep. and not do everything, check everything that's needed. Right. You know, if I have, say, 20 things that need to be checked, I don't want them to do 10 just because that's what's required by the state, this and that. Yeah. If they're going to shortcut me on that, who yep. knows what's going to happen down the long run. So Absolutely. I want to make sure everything is in check and not me just make sure. I want to make sure that they're making sure because yep. if they're not, then what else are they not mm -hmm. checking on? What else are they not doing for you? Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like... You know, you then you got to go someplace else, and those are the people that usually have two or three different doctors right. or two or three different medical providers. Why yeah. not just go to one, get everything taken care of the right way instead of scattering everything around? Plus, uh, you're, you're wasting time, and time yeah. is money, right? Yeah. I mean, you got to either be with your family, or you got things to do, or you got work. Yeah. Um, plus, you know, it, it's money too. So, I mean, even if you have insurance, you're using your copay and stuff like that. Now, we don't take insurance, so we don't get restricted by insurance companies of what we do. It's all cash pay, so our doctors can run exactly the right tests they want to run. They can prescribe the medications or therapies they want to prescribe, and there's no problems or no issues with this stuff. Uh, general doctors usually don't want to do it because they have to supply diagnosis codes, and those diagnosis codes can get kicked back from insurance companies because they might not think that it was necessary, and then you're stuck with a bill that's a thousand dollars or two thousand mm. dollars. Guys, this happens all the time, all the time. Just because you have insurance or a good insurance mm. doesn't mean they're going to cover everything that you want covered, and that just is what it is. So it's really important to know these different things, especially for longevity, for quality of life, for your health, to perform your best, look your best, obviously. You know, so guys, sign up. It's real easy. We service nationwide. All you guys got to do is call or text 727-389-3220. We can help you out with blood testing, males, females. And the commonest things when they go in usually, guys especially, when they start getting older, things just aren't like they used to. Whether it's their body, whether it's libido, whether it's concentration, they feel depressed or, or down and they don't know why. And when they go into their doctor, they tell them this and they only have a short time to do this. Usually at a regular doctor's, you got maybe 10, 15 minutes tops. Mm -hmm. With our providers, you have 30 minutes up to an hour and you can talk about all the problems or necessary issues. Or you could text about all the problems. You, you don't even text. have to talk to anybody. Like you said, you could do it from your phone. Yes. So if you guys are texters like me, you could just literally just do it straight from your phone and text. Yep. You don't have to call and talk or do anything with yes. anybody. So we don't take initially. Yeah. So we don't take insurance. You should be doing blood work at least every six months for sure. And you know, you want a different opinion, that's fine. We could definitely help out, especially in the labs you got. Now here's the thing. When most doctors run these testosterone tests and they're getting 
prescribe testosterone like that. They usually only run a total testosterone. Uh, they might run a PSA. They're not running these really in-depth tests. Now, if you're taking testosterone, they should be testing for estradiol because we know that testosterone is going to aromatize into estrogen. So at that point, this could be causing some issues or some side effects or symptoms that you're having now, and you're not getting all the benefits of testosterone. If you're getting negative side effects or problems, you're not getting all the benefits. Mm. You're getting negative side effects that are coming along with some benefits. Right. The whole point is, is to get all the benefits of testosterone th therapy, excuse me, without getting any of the negative side effects. And that's aromatization of the estrogen, high estrogen levels, causing bloating, water water retention, irritability, uh, sensitive to commercials or movies or, or your current situation. Yeah, because if your, lib your libido goes down because your estrogen is high, then oh, you're yeah. really, oh, then you're man. really, like, <laughs> really, I mean, this catch up, this, you really got to get back. It really is. So it, you can go farther down and down and down. Yep. And, you know, certain things like, um, you know, say I listen to, Oh to, yeah, to whatever. Yeah, so then it's, it's only gonna help. It's only gonna help temporarily for right. that very moment. Yeah, but then it's gonna go even more down and down and down, and pretty much you're gonna be. Yeah, you're gonna be out of luck. You're not gonna be feeling yeah. your best you're all the be way around. Luck. You're not gonna be performing your best like Drew said. You're gonna have to take another medication. You know, you're putting a bandaid over a bleeding wound again. Yeah. And you know that's a common response for some of the guys that go into general doctors and say, hey, "Listen, libido's not right. Um, I'm feeling kind of down." And the, the doctor's like, "You know what? Here's some Viagra." Here, here's some antidepressants. You're getting old. This comes with age. You know, it is yes. what it is. And they send you on your way. So I've been yeah. back and say, hey, have a good one. Mm. We'll see you in a month or a couple months. And we'll get your refill and stuff like that. And then you're like, well, that really didn't help me. Or yeah. this might be a short term, you know, something that might help short term. But it's not going to help long term. Really not give you the results or take care of the, the, the real problem. Yeah, and create a lot more other problems, too. That's because right. Because now you're dealing with the whole psychology, the, oh, the mental aspect of it, where if someone doesn't That's need an worst. antidepressant, you're giving it to them just because they yes. have a libido issue. Yes. Where it could be corrected from testosterone, it's like a whole other, and then you need more stuff and more, and then it just Absolutely. snowballs. And you end up being the old guy with the tackle box full of pills. Yeah. <laughs> he has a fishing tackle box full of pills, Monday, Wednesday, 2 p.m., 3 and then the next thing you know, he throws out all the pills, he starts yeah. feeling better. He yep. should have did that a while ago yep. and corrected everything. And here's the thing. When you start taking those medications like that, especially antidepressants. Now, listen, there are some people out there that genuinely need antidepressants. So I'm not going to knock that away. But here's a fact. Usually SSRIs and antidepressants are usually going to kill your libido. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they're going to cause weight gain. And these are two things that you really don't want. You know, this is something that if I ask them, hey, listen, do you want to kill your libido or do you want weight gain? Like, bad weight gain. He's talking about <laughs> bad, no, I ain't talking about lean muscle. Man. Yeah, yeah. Well, he you ain't gonna look like gain, Drew. You know, he says weight gain. Sloppy. Yeah, it's, it'll be bad weight. It'll yes. be a bloated weight yes. gain. We have Dan Good asking if there's different types of testosterone that can be taken. Absolutely. Yes, there is. There's injectable. There's creams. Uh, there's uh, tab lozenges there's for orals, women. Yeah. Uh, I, I think the best way to go out for men would be an injectable way yep. with like a cypionate or yep. ester or maybe a propionate. That's yep. what I think is the best, the yep. optimal. Yep. You get the most out of it. Yep. It's the way it should be taken. Yep. Um, a lot of the creams and stuff you put on your feet, this and that, those may work too, but to get the most out of it on a milligram basis. Oh, yeah, injectables. Are it's definitely best. injectable. Is no pellets, don't do those or anything like that. You know, the creams, you know, people start off with that because they have a, usually have a needle phobia and stuff like that. Yeah. Orals are pretty good as far as that goes if they have that phobia. Now, the different testosterone esters, like Drew was saying, cypionate, propionate, and anthate, mm. we even have some blends. So you can get an anthate or cypionate in there, a propionate, cypionate. So we have some different ones. And we're working on some really, really cool ones. So we know that vitamin D, you know, is a hormone too as well. You know, they call it vitamin D, but it is a hormone. It has direct effect with testosterone too, with other things like renal failure, immune system, and stuff like that. So with this, we started working on a testosterone blend mm. with vitamin D because they're both oil-based. Nice. So you can literally take it all in one shot and you're getting the benefits of vitamin D mm. and you're going to get the benefits of testosterone. Now, with vitamin D, you really want to check that level first. You want to check it through blood just to make sure that you're not over the limit of vitamin D. Because if you're taking too much vitamin D and you're over the limit, it can become toxic to the body and you don't mm. want that. That's what we talk about harmonic balance. You know, mm. everything should be in harmonic balance. Right. Not excessive in one hormone or one thing and, and not the other. Mm. So just saying, you know, it is what it is. ECA stack, everybody loves those for oh, sure. Yeah. Um, so that's just a hormone base and that's the blood panel. Now with the blood panel, we can test a lot more than that too. So we can test amino acids, you know, as far as what they are in your body, glutathione levels, STD levels, 
uh, your blood type. You know, I, I know with coronavirus, they're bringing this big thing up about different blood types are supposed food to be. Food allergies. Yeah, food allergies food is allergy a good one. Food allergy test is very huge. Especially, Sensitivity, Especially yeah. if people think automatically it's, oh, I'm just have to be lactose free or gluten free. Not right. everything is just lactose free or no, gluten free. There's other allergies not. you could have too, whether it's bananas or anything. Absolutely. Certain people have allergies. Bread, like yeah. So yeah. Gra- grains. I mean, there's a lot of different ones. I mean, I know Sharice was bananas, uh, and grains and stuff like that. So she kind of stays away from them. And there's a lot of different things, especially grains, right? Yeah. And the thing is, is it could be something that you actually taste good and you eat it and you yeah. enjoy it, but then yeah. maybe that the day later. A day later, you may have issues. So yep. a lot of times, people are like, oh, no, I eat those all the time. They taste good. It doesn't bother me. It may yep. not bother you right then. It might be the next day. Yep. Similar to how food poison doesn't really affect you right away. It takes yeah. time for it to kick in. Yeah. So even if it's something that you enjoy, it might be messing you up. I've seen one person, uh, she works in the office, and she's allergic to alcohol. But she'll still drink alcohol. <laughs> allergic to Big alcohol. Big shout out to Ashley out there, yeah. Oh, I've never so, heard of that. Yeah, she, she has Allergic true, to alcohol. And, and so she'll literally start turning red when she wow. starts drinking her first drink. And it's just funny, you know, mm-hmm. and she's like, you know, I, I'm not going to miss out on a beer or, you know, a, yeah. a drink, you know, it's not killing me. I'm, I'm not, my throat's not closing up on me. I can deal with the problems. Mm. So it just is what it is. Mm. Uh, so guys, blood work special, take advantage of it. All right. I want to make sure you guys got that this week because it's so important. And I, I've talked to so many people about blood work and they really don't know what to do or they want to have a great option. We service nationwide with the blood work or any of our other therapies. Hormone replacement therapy, vitamin amino acid injectable therapy, bedroom enhancing, libido enhancers, uh, peptide therapy, blood work like I talked about, healing peptides. I mean, that was another big one that people always ask about is healing peptides. Um, Rejuvenation detox like glutathione for liver functions and a lot more. For for the drinkers. For the drinkers. He's talking about people that are allergic to drinking. If if you're a heavy drinker or if you do anything else, whether it's legal or illegal, I don't want to know about it, but. Glutathione is very important for Glutathione. people that for people that uh, put a lot of super know. antioxidant guys. Yeah. So whether you're building the immune system, or you're helping liver functions because you got a fatty liver, or you're taking a lot of alcohol, you don't want to get sick. If you're traveling to a cold yep. weather or traveling to a warm weather area, yep. it's very important. A lot of times this time of year, people go from Florida yep. up north or out west, you know, Colorado or something yep. like that. If you're going out there, you don't want to worry about being sick when you get there. So that, that'll help, too, if you boost it up before you get there. Right. Helps a lot, too. So it's vitamin huge. Vitamin D will also help. Vitamin D too. is big. That's and the nectar of the gods and the complete world. Well, so, too. yeah, there's a lot of different therapies we have, and it really depends on your goal and what uh, you know what's personalized for you guys from the medical provider. You know, we're not like other places out there where it's a cookie-cutter thing where one person gets every, you know, every person gets the exact same program over and over and over. It's not like that, guys. So it's broken up and it's personalized for you guys. So our medical providers can help you out with that. We can help you out with that Titan. All you guys got to do is call or text 727-389-3220. And the blood work special could be ending today. That's when it's supposed to end. So take advantage of it now. If you call or text over the weekend, I will still accept it. But starting Monday, I don't think I'm going to. So take advantage of it now, okay? All right, so... The first topic, woman scanned Amazon for $165,000. Palm Harbor, right here. Grand, right, right up the Florida. street in Palm Harbor, which if you guys aren't from Florida, is near Clearwater, Tampa area, Tampa yep. Bay. Scam Amazon for $165K doing returns. She was doing the, uh, yep. reusing the return labels, making like 3 or $4 each time. And wow. she made it 164 or 165 wow. grand. So you can imagine how many transactions or how many times she did that. Yeah. But uh, in the article, it said that when they went into her house, she had boxes like from the floor to the ceiling. The neighbors oh said that there was God. like boxes, hun- dozens, hundreds of boxes just all the time around the house inside. Wow. So she was doing it for a while. But I mean, to think that, I mean, they probably really didn't check if it's three or four dollars here and there. Yeah. But after a while, they were like, wait a minute. Scamming I mean, for sure. 165 grand. That's a lot of money. Amazon is no joke, man. Yeah, I thought it was like maybe five, six, ten transactions. When they said four dollars each time, I'm like, wow. Forty one thousand two hundred fifty times. Forty one thousand times. Yeah. So she did it forty one thousand times with the return label. Thought so she I had mean, a good thing going, man. Yeah. She made money. She made money, but she's gonna be paying for it now in those lawyer fees for sure. And then she's gonna have to return all that money. Guaranteed. Yeah. And Amazon's no joke. Those are big companies. And we've talked about it in the last couple of weeks because it seems like every week there's there's something new about Amazon that's going on. Whether it's people yeah. are scamming, whether people at Amazon are scamming or yeah. messing over people or yeah. doing different things. So I guess we got to watch out. They are I still love Amazon. Giants. Oh, for love sure. Amazon. For sure. I don't think it, it, nothing with Amazon. Amazon's great. Just that these people are just yeah. finding a way to beat the system, but then the system beat them. Yep. Because now she's... Yeah. She's only 32 years From old. March 2015 to so August this year. Five years. Five, yeah. 
Whoa. Wow. That was five. I'm trying to think. 42. Th- what did you say? $65,000 divided by five. That way, uh, how much was she making a year? One sixty-five thousand divided by five. She was making forty-five. 000, yeah. Thirty-three thousand. Yeah. So yeah. I'm yeah. trying to think of how many uh, returns she did. She it did says forty-two thousand a year. Yeah. So if she did forty-two thousand. She did about six thousand. Oh, I get you. Okay, five, so forty-two thousand divided by eight eighty seventy-five hundred. Yeah. Seventy-five hundred. Yeah. Wow, that is crazy. Trooper. Yeah, man, that 8, is nuts. Times a year. Crazy, crazy, crazy. That's a lot crazy. of time. Eight thousand times a year. Then how many times a day? That's a lot. Like pretty much a oh, that's a, right. pretty much a full time job doing absolutely that. nonstop from she nine to five worked. for five years. Yeah, she could just work. I yeah. mean, for the money she was making per year, it really is really yeah. not that much. Yeah. You know, so at that point, like, was it really worth it? Because you know, jail time and all this. Or maybe she's gonna be on probation, or she got to pay all this back and restitution. That's time to put. It just sucks, man. Time, just yeah. sucks. So it is what it is. So don't try to scam people. Do the right thing, guys. Yeah. Yeah. If you're putting this much time, effort, and thought into something, you could utilize it for something positive that you could possibly pay you legally, and you don't have to worry about watching over your shoulder yeah. or having the cops show up or whatever it is. So especially now with everything work at home, work at oh, home. I mean, if you're doing everything from home, Amazon at home. If you're going to spend eight hours a day, yeah, you could probably work for Amazon. Absolutely, <laughs> and look at your bonus to side on. <laughs> work for Amazon, you make more than you did. <laughs> yeah, man, that's camera. crazy. That's crazy. Like her that works that much. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, so the next one, Oregon may legalize shroom therapy. Psychedelics have been a big thing lately. Um, in the last couple of years, they've been catching more and more momentum. I actually know some people that, you know, have went to the jungle, like Costa Rica or some of these different places and took in, uh, I think it was DMT or whatever it is. Right. And it's like a psychedelic that comes from a a plant, ashwanga or ash, something like that. Ayahuasca. Ayahuasca, yeah, thank you. And, you know, they drink this thing, and then basically what happens is, is they purge, and which means they puke. Mm. And then after that, I guess it gets really intense. And, you know, I, I've had a lot of friends oh, do this. Oh, sounds like a great time. <laughs> I've had a lot of friends do this, Dream. people that you know. Yeah. Uh, and they've went to these places, and they came back, and they've said it, it, it's like totally changed their life. Like, out view of life perspective helped them get through things that they had that they were dealing with from personally. doing that or yes. from the culture or from the actual taking from, that from actually taking it wow so um you know i've done some more research on this too you know because oregon and stuff like that and there's different other states that are legalizing this, like colorado and, and some of these other states out west and basically you know there's a place in orlando which right right now right so there's a place in orlando that we can go and do this and the way that they get around the law, because psychedelics in 1971 were scheduled as a, a Schedule One drug. That means there is no medical purpose for that. Now, after World War II, what happened was with Sandoz, who's a huge pharmaceutical company, uh, they actually made LSD. And when they made LSD, they started giving it out to all kinds of researchers, and they started really doing research on LSD to help people with anxiety, depression, all these different things, right? Mm-hmm. 1971, really the war on drugs happened and all psychedelics were out the door with Schedule 1. The way that they get around it here in Orlando, uh, this this church, is because it's a religion-based practice. And everything in religion-based practice you can actually do. Native Americans actually do psychedelics and stuff like that. So this is the way they get around it. Now, they've only had, I think they've had one person die in, in years that they've done it because it, 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 it can cause a negative effect. It can cause seizures and people can die from it. If they take too much or they're not, they're not looked at. Well, here in Oregon, uh, it's actually a soap company, Bruners, uh, who's actually incorporating this and actually been pushing for this. So they're probably going to pass it, and it's it's being used. Now, I know some other people that microdose uh, shrooms daily, bodybuilders, mm. I'll tell you who after this, um, and, and they, it's crazy. It's, it's, it's totally game changer. Yeah. Like game changer, the way they I'm... think, they're creative, like... I don't know if you guys I've ever done something else. Too paranoid to have something take my mind like that. That's yeah. why I've never done any drugs yeah. like that. Yeah. I'm not a big drinker. I don't. Yeah. I don't want to have someone. Yeah. I don't know. It's like it's hard. Worried to take it and throw up and pass out or do it's something hard. crazy. I don't. So know. with some things like I have to uh, be like, like in a in a facility where they can watch me <laughs> while they test me while I do it. You know, for shrooms and stuff like that. Like you know, some people do throw up. Some people don't on those, right? Mm. 
but it, de- it definitely will affect things. LSD, usually people don't purge or throw up. On the Oshawaka or wherever it was, mm. um, that one they usually do purge. And if people don't purge, they get mad because they don't throw up. They don't think they're going to get that trip or they don't think they're going to get the experience. But a lot of people, I mean, this is this is becoming a really, really big thing. So we'll see how this... I'm going to read up on it tonight. Uh, just to yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. It, it, there is a lot of information out there of people getting past PTSD uh, and depression, anxiety, and all these different things by microdosing these psychedelics. Mm. Now, you know, the difference is, is be, be, between microdosing and taking, uh, you know, like a psychedelic like experience, I guess, mm. is people, you know, back in the 60s and stuff like that, or even now, they eat like a whole bunch. They have It's not weighed out. So they're going to get this really like, you know, embellished experience yeah, like, like the it, typical stuff you see in it's movies gonna, yeah, and yeah, it's cartoons where the purple elephants is floating right. around right they're yeah, gonna yeah. see things hear things where the micro dosing it's not supposed to do that now you might feel a little bit more creative more, more open minded mm. you know you might be able to communicate things a little bit better and that's yeah. what they're saying the benefits are and it's such a micro dose that you will not get the experience where you're gonna be out of your mind crazy you know, that was the big thing where Drew brings up a very good point. Some people, they get on these trips and they don't come back from the trips. Yeah. But, I mean, majority of people usually do. You know, and I've talked to a lot. <laughs> yeah. they, they, usually, yeah. they usually do come back, you know, uh, from these trips where they have a great experience and they talk about it. They do it over and over and over. I mean, it's a big thing and it's been around yeah. for a long time. Mm-hmm. So, and there's actually, there's actually some books written about these things. And there's actually some books that will tell you how to make this stuff. And it's totally legal to buy these books. There was actually a doctor that did this with his wife, and uh, basically they wrote these books. And it took about it took the government about mm, maybe eight or nine months to really catch on. Mm-hmm. And they went and raided this guy's stuff. And this guy had a, basically he was a doctor, and he had he had a license to buy these research chemicals and stuff like that, and to research it. So he decided to put it in a book. There was actually two books out there, yeah. um, and we can possibly talk about that later. But I just wanted to hit on some of that stuff for you guys. So it's interesting. I'll, I'll, it's interesting. I, I couldn't do it. I don't know. It's very interesting. I want to read about it just to see it. Very I'm, interesting. And I you never know. know. Is it the journey that you're, or is it like a process that you're going through or is it just the hallucinations that make you feel creative? Like, what is that? So, you know, basically when you're taking this stuff, it, it's really going to open up some different things, you know, and listen. Different pieces. Of I'll be around. honest with you guys. I've took in mushrooms before, okay? <laughs> I took them in college. I know the experience. And it definitely is more creative thing. Like literally, like we, we went there and like we sat outside, we watched trees for a little bit and like kinda of out in nature and you're kinda of like, you know, you're out there, you're experiencing this. And it's really cool. Like you're you're open to talk to people. Now I wasn't like out of my mind. I didn't take a lot because I didn't want my mind to go crazy. Yeah. But you know, it was an experience to be like this and literally like when you when you don't come back from like mushrooms. Like mm. L S D is a whole different drug than mushrooms, right? So I had to grab a phone. It's take just different. All day. It's different. So yeah, you will, you will, and you'll come out of it. You will come out know. of it a little bit more creative. And I don't think it's the psychedelics that do it to you. I think it's really you know maybe opening up parts of the mind or opening up things that you haven't thought about. It's supposed to hit a different part of the mind um, that 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 actually locks in some of these bad memories and stuff mm-hmm. like that and actually releases it. So we'll see. Maybe you guys have taken these things out there. Maybe you guys have it. We will see in the microdosing and how it goes. Oh, oh yeah, here we go. Comments, it's yeah. a 4D experience. See, Stacy's taking them too. 4D. So it it really is, Drew. Like it's like, <laughs> it's like, it's almost like an out of body experience, you know, as far as that goes. And it can be very good, I think, with some people that have issues and problems. My friend goes to Oregon to a lab and gets rooms all the time. He drives from Seattle, so yeah, some mushrooms. Yeah, so it's really really big. You know, I went to a couple of other different countries, uh, like Amsterdam, and I did this in, like, 2006. And, like, literally they have shops just for psychedelics, peyote, mushrooms, and stuff like that. Um, so it's just it's different out there. It's, it's, it's an open thing. I don't think it should be a Schedule One drug, just like marijuana is a Schedule One drug, mm. right? Yeah. I mean, come on. We have a lot of medical uses for marijuana, right. and they're, they're starting to come forth now. Yeah. And the, the whole problem was is because in 1971, right, when they decided we were going to declare the war on drugs, which we've never won or we've never even came close to winning. Ever. Okay? Uh, we are on the losing side of that. And instead of regulating, it, you know, we're, we're just pouring tons of money into trying to stop it coming in. It's never going to stop coming in. It yeah. is what it is. Yeah. They're saying it's worse than fentanyl then. It, it, yeah. Schedule one. Yeah. Schedule, schedule one is, is worse than fentanyl. So, you know, you have cocaine on there. You have heroin on there, which, you know, I mean, more, you know, I mean, Morphine should be on there too, I guess. I mean, because they can use 
heroin, I guess, but they don't. Um, I'm not Maybe saying opiate based. Opiate, no, opiate's scheduled two. Yeah. So opiate is, is legal. So opiate, so heroin would be. Heroin's scheduled one. Yeah, because basically it's heroin. So there's it's no opiate's the same. Op- <laughs> opiate of, and heroin are the exact same in thing. In terms of the substance, it's pretty much the okay. same exact. So when we talk like about synthetic that, synthetic heroin, right. pretty much is an opiate. So like I mean, it's not, oxycodone, yeah, or it's oxycontin, and stuff like that. But it's crazy how one it's because it's synthetic. It's this the class is even different. So and think about this: <laughs> when it is made synthetically in a lab, you have lab techs, you have chemical, uh, excuse me, you have pharmacists in there, you have like uh, these guys that all they do is compound medication or make different medications, and they want to make it the best they possibly can. So they go through these drugs and make them perfect. For what they're supposed to do. Mm. Where heroin, if you take heroin on the street or something like that, is not as pure. And even if it's pure heroin, they specifically make these drugs like opiates to hit certain things. With heroin, it's not the exact same thing. Mm. Now, when we went through the opiate crisis and we're still going through it, you know, opiates got really locked down with the companies. And people couldn't get their opiates. So what did they do? They went to the street and they started taking heroin. You know, which we're still dealing with today and all this backlash. And we were talking about this the other day. Purdue Pharmacy or Pharmaceuticals was the company that did this. And there was like an $8 billion. $8 billion. Got $8 billion. They got um, fined. Or yeah. They, you know, for restitution mm. for families and such that their, their family members died from opiates. And these people made over $200 billion. Yeah. So $8 billion is a drop in the bucket from what they really made. Yeah. And it's still ongoing. That's almost a quarter of a trillion dollars. It's crazy. It's crazy. So, you know, a lot of crazy stuff out there. And we'll, we'll see how this goes, and we'll see how the legalization. And personally, to me, I think that, you know, everything should possibly be legalized and regulated at this point. Um, if people commit crimes, then their ass needs to get thrown in jail. I don't think that a drug, uh, a crime, should be thrown in jail unless they're manufacturing or selling these things. You know, they're hurting their community. Yeah. But if somebody's taking it, I don't think they should be thrown in jail. Like, right. They really do need help at that point. Try to get them help. And if they don't need help or they don't want help, then they're going to go down that path anyway. And they're going to do what they want to do. So and I think they should on, regulate. And depending on which drug it is, they might get messed up if they're just thrown in jail. Absolutely. I mean, if somebody's a severe addict and oh, all yeah. of a sudden they just get thrown into jail, the withdrawal symptoms and stuff and being oh, in that yeah. environment and this I, and that, I mean, it could be a whole other issue. So, I mean, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Nice to regulate. Yeah, so I definitely, I think we think we should re- regulate drugs, um, you know, and obviously fentanyl and all these different things are coming out and they're killing people, you know, so we should definitely regulate and try to get rid of, I guess, the bulk of the worst ones and, and, and keep the ones that I think we can help or at least we can regulate yeah. or just set terms. Like, literally, when I went to Amsterdam, um, they had the red light district, right? And no other things are outside that red light district. You're not going to see a whole bunch of coffee shops which sell marijuana out there. And literally on every corner, there's drug dealers selling you whatever you want there. And no cops come in there and mess with you at all. Mm. Just that. So it's just that area that, that deals with that, right? And then if you're caught on anything outside, your ass is grass. And mm. it is what it is. So I, I think it, it's a it's a good model. So you know what you're getting yourself into. You know much. what you're getting yourself into. Yeah. And it takes it out of other areas. So it's not. Exactly. I mean, if it has to be hidden, everybody's hidden. It's scattered, hidden everywhere. Exactly. Find it to one area. Kind of like drinking. You have to drink in a bar. You can't just drink on the street. Yeah. If they open up drinking, people could just be walking up and down the street drinking and yeah. have other problems. Yeah. Everybody has to go to the bar. If you don't drink, you go to the bar, you know there's going to be people yeah. drinking, so it's kind of like the same. The only place I, I know of you can drink like that is Louisiana and New Orleans. You where can, you could just walk around. You drinking. can walk up and down Bourbon Street and drink, right? And go oh, grab. Yeah. You can yeah. even go there, right? And uh, and they have drive through drinks. Drive through uh, liquor it, stores? You, no, drive through drinks. You can literally drink. drive up and wow. grab like a margarita or a hurricane or whatever and drive off. That's good. The driver or the passenger? Both. That's ridiculous. And you're not supposed to be drinking and driving one. Yeah, that's right. Good. <laughs> so that, that's, a, that's a big yeah. one. Or so well, microdosing too. Going back to, I mean, if they microdose, yeah. a lot of the stuff that people see with these recreational drugs, all the problems, whether it causes violence, whether, whether they overdose, all that stuff, it wouldn't happen with microdosing yeah. too. So a lot of the... Stuff you hear about, whether it's, I mean, something crazy as heroin or something, mushrooms or marijuana. Yeah. If it's microdose, they may not get the effects, right. of, you know, the craziness. Right, right. They're not, they're not like yeah. gone out of their head, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And literally, when the dude, when the one dude told me, when I tell you who it is, you're going to be like, whoa. But when, when he told me, you know, he's like, you know, I'm microdosing these things. I'm like, holy shit, dude. How do you, how do you do this day to day? You know, yeah. he's like, he's like, it's not like that. He's like, I don't like, I'm not like out of my mind. I'm not like. 
uh, hallucinating all day or hearing sounds yeah, yeah. or you know so it's, it's nothing like that but mm. literally for my creative thinking or for me to go forward he's like this is it's really helped me out a lot so we'll just we shall see a little nectar of the gods type of thing. absolutely so brandon for sure um all right so mother of five shot and killed at chuck e cheese yeah I was this is shocked. crazy that's i mean it's getting worse and worse but yeah pretty much a woman was at chuck e cheese with her five kids and got shot Wow. Uh, it was a dispute and then in Iowa. at at Chuck E. Cheese in front of the kids, in front of all the other over kids. Over a I guess, card? Yeah, it was over like a uh, yeah, over a card. Like ah. a, she was pregnant, and she was pregnant, and she also I think she, uh, she also had a uh, five kids. They were young, like the kids were young uh-huh. also too. They were all dead there. So Guys, yeah. things like this should definitely not be happening, especially at Chuck E. Cheese. Man. I mean, man. think about everybody. You know, all the kids there, the kids. you know, I mean, it's supposed to be a family environment. Yeah, the kids is the worst. I mean, the parents, yeah, whatever, but some parents, are, I mean, not sad to say it, some people are just so far gone. They're it's like true. almost, I mean, they're, they've been stuck in their ways, their family's been stuck in their ways for generations and generations. If yeah. you're like 45, 50, you're pretty much so far gone. But these yeah. kids, yeah. it's like now that might set them up to be yeah, so far absolutely. gone. It's like, who knows? I remember stuff when I was a kid at that age, crazy stuff. So these kids, and... Yeah, I mean, I didn't ever saw anybody get shot in Chuck E. Cheese. But right. That's crazy. Those yeah. kids are going to be affected. I mean, it definitely, man. So no kid should ever have to see somebody shot in front of or stabbed in front of them. You know, you know, fights. You know, I think fights have always broken out and stuff like that, and it's just a part of life. But you know, when you start shooting people or killing people in front of kids, yeah. we got problems, and, and we should definitely not have things like this going down. It's 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 really sad to see in our country, and when we read these things on a daily basis of something going on. Yeah, and it's happening everywhere, too. It's it not just in big horrible. cities. It's not just in rural areas. I mean, right. see, where's Iowa? Or, wow. I mean, everywhere. So, Chairs have become involved good. in an argument with a mother after her son's card game was taken by another child. Yeah, over a card. Like, yeah, over a game. Pretty much over a game. Yeah. And then the kids... I literally, like, when I used to, when I took Peter to Chuck E. Cheese when he was a kid, like, I'd give him the card or whatever, mm-hmm. and, like, he'd put that card down, and I, mm-hmm. literally, he's had, he had some kid, like, try to snatch that card, I was like, dude, I was like, grab your, go grab your card right now, mm-hmm. like, that's my card, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I thought somebody left it there, and then the parent apologized, I'm like, oh, mm-hmm. alright, you know, it is what it is, so, yeah, yeah. you know, you know, if people see you have stuff, they, they want it, and... Sometimes they'll, they'll I mean, just try to take it. I mean, if you're a kid and you see, if you're at Chuck E. Cheese, you see a car laying on the ground. I mean, <laughs> pick it up and oh, try yeah. to swipe it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For know. sure. For sure. So that's kind of crazy. All right. The next one, another one. Security guard gets stabbed 27 times by two sisters. So we're in there. We're checking out. Like I'm reading this article. I can't believe it. And what is this over? So this is over a mask. So the security guard went, told these ladies, hey, listen, you're going to have to leave unless you put the mask on. You know, these sisters, they start going back and forth with the security guard. One gets on the phone, starts videotaping it. And at that point says, you know what? We're going to get somebody down here to beat your ass. And the dude's like, all right, it's time to go. And at that point, what happens? (laughs) One chick pulls out a, a knife comb. So it's a comb. It has a knife in it. She starts stabbing this security guard who's 6'5 and 270 pounds, 21-year-old and 18-year-old sister. One starts jumping on him. The other one starts stabbing him in the neck, chest, back, all over the place. All over this. The mask. A mask. Guys, it's a mask. <laughs> fighting back? All over a mask. So he didn't fight back. Like He literally was like trying to get like out of it. People were like, listen, stop. You know? And, you know, when, when he started breaking free, they, they kicked him in the head. They did all this stuff. Yeah. Well, this guy, you know, he took a lot of shots. He took the, the knife. And he still held these girls until the cops came. Oh, man. Mm. So, listen, man. You know, you know people aren't going to just go down sometimes. So, at this point, this Shout is Shout really out to the, to the security guy because yeah, man. I used to bounce and work security and all that. Yeah. That could have gone a different way. We could have been reading yeah. about how someone got stabbed and killed, like, you know, the Chuck E. Cheese incident yeah, or something. Yeah, man. So, Good, good job for him for actually. Big shout out to the security guards taking care of it. But I don't. I want to know what they're happening with these masks because a lot of times you see people getting violent stuff because of the mask. Mm-hmm. I want them to interview these people to figure out why they're snapping over the mask, other know. than just us assuming. Because what if someone had a grandmother or someone that passed away last right. night, 
And then they said if she ever wore more mask and this and that, and then now all of a sudden they're in that mental state. You yeah. don't know. So I'm interested to know why these people. I mean, yeah, they're mad. Yeah, they're snapping. But once they calm down a little bit, like yeah. interview them or something, like yeah. why did you really go off on the mask? I mean, seriously. I mean, if, they're, if they're really just, oh, a germaphobe, or not not so much a germaphobe if you wear a mask. Wear a mask is a good thing. But right. if they're just the type that wants to everyone in America. But if it's a personal issue, I'd want to know because there's a lot of, of stuff going on over masks that like, and do these people have previous records? Do they have... Yeah, it might be just something like in their head. They're already disturbed and something happens that triggers it. Just like people at, at yeah. a stop sign or something like that. If you speak past somebody and then you piss them off, they're going to try to shoot you. Exactly. That person's already jacked up. Just because yeah. you try to pass them, now it's masked up. Yeah. It, sh- yeah, it shouldn't yeah. be like that, guys. It's you know, almost kind of a... The thing is with the mask, the only thing I can relate it to is like road rage. Yeah. People that normally would never get mad. Yeah. I mean, I get mad too when I'm yeah. driving. But they get never get mad. They drive, and all of a sudden, they're a different person. The mask is almost similar, where all of a sudden, I don't know what it is, but people nah. just get mad about it. Like, they get so nah. mad about it. So, you know, I understand. Listen, a lot of people are frustrated. Me and Drew have been frustrated. Art's been frustrated. We're, we're all going through this COVID, elections, like, Civil War type shit breaking out. It's just, it's been yeah. crazy. So, we're all going through it. We all don't want to wear masks. I don't want to wear a mask. I don't think Drew wants to wear a mask or anybody else wants to wear a mask. You know, at that point, it's not a political thing for us. We're doing it because we're trying to protect ourselves, protect our family, protect people around us or whatever it is. You know, some people say they work. Some people say they don't work. It is what it is. All right. There's a reason why surgeons and doctors wear masks. There's a reason why we're wearing a mask. But is it really worth the girls getting charged with attempted murder? Yeah. Attempted murder for somebody that's just doing their job, a security guard or like Drew or like somebody else that's working or bouncing or whatever it is in an establishment is getting told by their boss, if anybody comes in, make sure you say, wear a mask. Yeah. You know, it'd be like just anybody coming into a club. Hey, listen, you don't have the proper outfit in, you can't come in. Yeah. You're doing this wrong. You got to go. I'm sorry, yeah. man. You got to go. The security guard guy might have, before he went to work, Talking to his wife or his friend saying, man, I hate these damn masks. I got to wear this. Right. So he might not want to wear it either, but he has to. Right. So you don't even know. He might be, a lot of times when I was working security, when I'm bringing someone outside, they're fighting, and I'm bringing them outside, I'm like, look, I'd be mad too. Or right. when you say that to people, it gives them a different idea. Like, right. It's not personal. Like, right. I'd be pissed off too. Hey, man, he was... He, he tried to touch my girl. I'd be like, I'd, I'd try to knock him out too, but yeah. it doesn't matter. I'm bringing you outside. Right. So with the mask thing, I mean, it's getting crazy. With People are just doing their it's jobs, man. So yeah, I mean, yeah. It is what it is. It's just like anything else. If somebody has to do a job, they're doing their job. Yeah. I mean, you yeah. can't get mad at them for doing their job. So, you know, they don't deserve to get... Listen, we've talked about this thing since things started. People have got killed, shot, killed, yeah. beat up, stabbed. All these different things over masks. Or somebody yeah. telling you, hey, listen, you put on a mask. They have to direct it at the people that are creating these rules and creating these regulations. For rather real. Than the people that are enforcing them. For real. Go after the people that create the laws, not the people that enforce them. That's correct. So if it's the police, you don't matter. Go after the people that are creating the laws, not the, the police who are enforcing them. If it's the mask, the people, the people, you know. So if it's a business, don't get mad at the employees. Call the owner or email someone. Figure yeah. out the... the you're directing it at the wrong people because all that's going to do is cause problems with you, cause problems with them. You lose their job, they lose their job. The company stays fine. Yeah. So the only people that <laughs> the only people that's losing is the two employees or other customer or patient yeah. or whatever it is. So, that, that's that's uh, literally yeah. who the loss is. Go to the creator, not the enforcer. And it is what it is, guys. So hopefully we'll get through this thing uh, and we're done with this. I don't really see the mask going away for a long time. Yeah. So it is what it is. Speaking of. Uh, oh, yep. What we got here? All right. So the next one is coronavirus. So we're talking about coronavirus. So a new study finds asymptomatic cases of coronavirus might Take lose the mask off now. antibodies sooner. So they're saying that the study is showing that people who are asymptomatic that had coronavirus are going to lose antibodies faster than somebody that did not or was not asymptomatic. And this is true. All right. So they're saying that. Uh, you get up to about four months of antibodies, so protection from the coronavirus, if you were asymptomatic. Now, I am the example for this. I was asymptomatic when I caught coronavirus. I've been testing antibodies and having antibodies after the two weeks that I was out of isolation. Uh, I've tested every month. I still had the antibodies last month. I just tested last week. Antibodies are gone. So you that's why I'm wearing the mask too. I don't want to catch coronavirus again. 
just in case. I don't want to bring it back to my dad. I don't want possibly Peter to catch it again. He was asymptomatic. I don't know if he has an antibody still. Sharice, who was in ICU, had a huge viral load of this coronavirus, still has the antibodies. So it does line up with Every, what this study is. This is a case in Everybody's different. Everybody's different. Everybody's, everybody's different. different. Yeah, and, so, and what, how you feel right now could be different tomorrow. How you test right now could be different than tomorrow. Yeah. So it's like not only everybody's different, everything is changing constantly. Absolutely. Every day, every week. So. Absolutely. And we're getting more research. We're getting more knowledge on the coronavirus and stuff like that. Obviously, Europe right now is going through a surge like crazy with the coronavirus. Uh, different countries are starting lockdowns again. Hopefully, we never get a lockdown again in this country. I mean, that was one of the worst things I think has ever happened to our yeah. country. And we're still dealing with some of these um, tremors or, or, or you know effects that happen from this. It's just, mm. it's nuts. So hopefully, we won't have to go through that. Um, but yeah, so if you guys had COVID, you were asymptomatic, test for the antibodies. Make sure you have them. If you don't have them, protect yourself because you don't want to get it again. Uh, it's just something you guys should definitely look into for sure, just to make sure that you guys are safe. When I had the antibodies, I felt like I had an invisible shield. Mm. So, like, I, I really didn't really care. Like, uh, But now I'm like, I don't have them. Like, I definitely want to make sure that I protect myself. So protect your guys' self out there. They're saying there's different strains possibly and mutations, mm. and that's why it's hitting again in a second wave in Europe. But who knows? We have no idea. So hopefully it doesn't hit the United States again like it did, and hopefully we're not like Europe. All right, so last one. Apple building Google search alternative. This is really cool. This is like huge. 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 And, uh, it seems like everybody, not everybody, but more people are Apple people now. Yeah. Like, you know, I used to be the big Android guy and yeah. I went to Apple and now everybody seems like has Apple. So. Oh, yeah. I think it's huge. I think it's big. And, you know, Google just kind of took over. I remember when the internet first started getting big, it was like, you know, Yahoo and Google, Yahoo. Dogpile. You're talking about Dogpile, AOL? AOL, yeah. AOL and, like, all these weird search yeah. engines. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I remember. think it's going to be great if Apple has a new one. I think I, I think, love Apple. I'm, I'm yeah. a huge Apple guy. So. I, I think it's huge. And, and Apple really, uh, they usually like to stand on their own two feet in whatever they're doing with their company. Mm -hmm. And if you have an Apple product, most of them use Google search engines um, to find the information you're looking for yeah. and Google Maps mm -hmm. um, in some circumstances. So at this point, they're going to try to make the push to be the top search engine and have their own search engine, which I think is going to be awesome. Yeah, I think it's going to be Apple, you know, obviously Apple friendly. It's Apple, yeah. but iPhone in terms of even ordering, in terms of purchases, in yep. terms of history, you know, I think it's going to be real. It seems like a one click. Everything's going to be real easy. Just oh, yeah. Similar to Amazon, the way it is to order. Yep. There's going to be, I don't know, it's going to be, I can't wait. Well, the biggest thing I like about Apple is is they're more user friendly, like their devices and, and products are more user friendly and very easy to use, right? Yeah. Where Android is not that user friendly. You know, mm. Google search engine, I love Google as far as the search engine, but they are the, the most dominant one and almost a monopoly. Mm. You know, I remember like back in the day when Yahoo was the ticket. Like that was Yahoo, the pay per click yeah. ticket if you were advertising. Um, that was where you searched through, and then yeah. Google. Email, yeah, I remember, email. Yeah, I remember Hotmail. And oh, email, man. Yahoo, I still got my Hotmail. I still got my Hotmail. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so and that's, a, that's a really, really big one. Yeah. Um, so we will see, and we'll have more information on this, but they are going. They are definitely going. You know, they're, they're, they're going to go for it, and they're, gonna, they're probably going to they're probably gonna have a product that's better than Google, and we will see. And they'll break up the monopoly with Google. It's, it's just pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. And this week, if you guys didn't know, that the, the tech barons is what they're calling these guys. They were in front of um, Congress and the Senate yesterday. So at that point, they were getting asked questions, and they're possibly going to get broken up, some of these companies. Because, I mean, at this point, they are a monopoly, and uh, you know, they're going to go for antitrust laws and stuff like that. So we will see what happens. Stay tuned. Um, Big. That's huge. 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 Now, Apple. Apple's just taking over. Apple, Apple is definitely taking over. I love over. Apple, though. But none of these tech companies should be censoring us. Censoring any information out there. They should not be censoring. They're a platform um, that we should be able to express First Amendment rights in whatever it is. Whether you want to say this or you want to say that, they shouldn't be censoring things. Right. If they do, they start getting into a publisher's position. And that's when they can start censoring. But the biggest thing is this. Is that when we talk about tech and we talk about Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, right? We talk about these things. Did you know that they're protected by a law that they can't get sued liability wise? So this is a law that they've been hiding behind. Now, 
if they keep censoring, I'm telling you, the regulators are going to come in and step in and they're going to take away that permission. And then we're going to start seeing these big tech companies getting sued personally by all yeah. the different users it's out gonna there. It's going to be an overload. It's going to be an overload. So I'm, I'm really anxious to see how this all turns yeah. out. It, it's really, really crazy. So we will see, guys. We definitely will see. All right, guys. Tomorrow... We will be here in Orlando. I think we gave up the undisclosed location. Okay. Yeah, undisclosed. Well, you said here in Oregon. I figured when they look behind, when you're talking about the Oregon mushrooms. Did thing, you guys see the shrooms? He said, he said, well, here in Oregon. I said, well, they're going to look behind you and see the palm trees and know we're not in Oregon. <laughs> so we're in Orlando. Mid-Florida. Big time. Mid-Florida Classic presented by Titan Medical Center. Put on by Deke Warner. There's a yes. second one this year. Uh, it's a huge one. I think it's the 25th anniversary. Yeah, I'm yeah. pretty sure. 25th anniversary for Big Deke. Yeah. It's our uh, multiple years. It should be a huge show, a good show. Yeah. Uh, we'll be there for the first part of it. There's going to be a Halloween costume contest yeah. at 5 o'clock. We're going to be the judges of that, too, as well. Bring gonna, your A-game with the costumes. Bring your costumes, costumes. Bring your A-game. We will be there. See what's up. Yeah. Uh, we're going to talk about Titan Medical Center. Hand out some free Titan gear. You guys can sign up on the Titan iPad there at our booth. Um, become part of the newsletter, get information about Titan Medical Center, some of our therapies, possibly how we can help you, yep. take some pictures with us, yep. right? And it's going to be at the Rosen Plaza, yep. uh, the Rosen Plaza, and also today from 5 to 7 p.m. at the Rosen Plaza's check-ins as well. Yep. Titan booth will be out there, t-shirts, hit the iPad, say what's up to the girls. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's going to be a good time, but yeah, it's going to be at the Rosen Plaza tomorrow, morning show at 9, night show at 5, mm -hmm. costume contest starts right before the night show at 5. And then the show is going to get on. Yep. Typical should... Deke Warner fashion is going to be a great show yeah. sponsored by Titan Medical. That's right. All day, every day. That's right. And then uh, we're going to say what we do, and then we're off. We're off in the limo, and we're back to Tampa. We got another huge event, Vampire's Ball at the Cuban Club. Four levels of all different types of entertainment. It's going to be a huge event. It's I cannot be wait. Crazy. And we got Big Drew in awesome costume. I can't wait, wait, wait. We're going to be dressed up. <laughs> It's Costumes gonna be sick. gonna be crazy. I can't wait. It's gonna be sick. I can't wait. It's I'm gonna not even gonna say anything. I'm not even gonna say, not anything. gonna say anything. We're gonna have tons of pictures, tons of videos coming at you guys this next week. So yeah. stay tuned to social media. You're gonna see some awesome things, and we'll probably go live from there. Maybe at night. Who knows what's gonna go on? Yeah, but the clock goes back that night too, oh, so we yeah. get an extra hour, even more Titan lifestyle. It's gonna be a crazy night. Halloween night. Halloween night. Mid Florida. And the Vampire's Ball the same night yep. on Halloween. Yep. It's going to be a crazy one. We're going from Orlando to Tampa all on the same night. Oh, yeah. It's going to be crazy. We're all over the board, baby. It's going to be lovely. And you know, what, you know what's funny is uh, they're going to have a special... Well, they're not going to. There's going to be a special full blue moon tomorrow on Halloween. And it doesn't happen too often. Wow. So it's going to be a perfect night. Looked at the weather already. Big blue moon, full moon in the sky, which is going to be crazy. And it's going to be Halloween night. This is going to be nuts. It's going to be nuts. It's gonna so be nuts. you guys stay tuned. You guys keep it locked to our social media as far as that goes. Be safe too, guys. Halloween, be Absolutely. safe. Everybody's going to be out Absolutely. there. People be partying. People be drinking. Absolutely. Uber if you have to. Cab if you guys still cab anymore. If you have to, be safe. Yep. Be safe. So November, we hit our next big event, which is Cars and Core Tour. That's 11-14-1920 theme of Great Gatsby. It's going to be awesome. Huge mansion has got it this year. Uh, really excited, been a part of this, Donna, Donna Crowley, and it's for a good cause, charity for autism. All right, so we like to help out our charities out there too and the people that need it, especially with autism. So we're really excited about that. So you guys can join us there too. And then December, we've got December, or excuse me, January, before we go into December, January 10th and January 24th. January 10th is going to be Festivals of Speed in St. Pete at Vinoy Park. Come join us for that. All the exotic cars. Titan crew will be out there with uh, all the Titan rides, hopefully. We'll have the new 2020 vet out there, the limo out there, and maybe some other ones, the fleet. And then the 24th, back in Orlando, Rich Carlton. Second home over That's here in Orlando. I'm telling you, man. Only an hour and a half away, maybe, at, at Tops Hour. Yeah. So we're right down the street, yeah. basically. Um, who knows? We got Tampa more and stuff Orlando coming. is booming right now. Booming. All the shows are coming here. Super Bowls in Tampa this year. A lot of the big bodybuilding shows and national shows are even coming here. So absolutely, it's huge. Get ready. Tom Brady guys. even came here. Absolutely, it's huge. Gronk, Tom yeah. Brady, Antonio Brown now in the Bucks. Yeah, it's good. Woo! Yeah. Who knew? Who knew? 
Florida's on fire. Yep. And Literally. January. January will be Super Bowl here, so we you will see what's see going how on. beautiful it is behind us. Yep. A lot of cloud in the sky, palm trees. It's gorgeous. Beautiful people at the pool. So So we love you guys. Have fun in the snow. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so we love you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in for another Tight Lifestyle every Friday at 2 p.m. with Big Drew. Uh, we'll be back next Friday, 2 p.m. Every Tuesday, 6 p.m., Titan Talk with me on Tuesdays. And Sunday, don't forget the Titan Medical Center Health and Lifestyle Show at 11 a.m. on ABC, on cable. Not on your computer, yep. on cable. If you guys are not in the state, check out Facebook or YouTube for the full version of that show, too, as well. And you guys can just write in, see what you guys think. Tell me what you guys think. If you guys want to see anything different, let us know. And also, guys, check out the podcast. If you don't want to watch us but just want to listen to us, check out the podcast. Just go to your podcast uh, icon on your iPhone mm -hmm. or from Google. Just type in Titan Lifestyle Podcast. and Everything mm -hmm. will come up. You can watch this show. You can watch our past shows. You can watch pretty much anything we do. So if yeah. you miss any information right now, you can go back and uh, you know cross-reference and go back and keep checking and keep checking it. Get all the information you need all the time and listen to us so we can be in your ears constantly. Absolutely, guys. 727-389-3220, Titan Medical, TitanMedicalCenter.com. All day, every day, I'm ready to enjoy the sun. It's Friday. Guys, be safe, Woo. and I'll see you next week. Have a good weekend, guys. We'll see you then.